Now, we're fishing a mark, we don't really fish. I fished here last year, me and uh, my scarce mate Carl. Uh, we did all right, we had some flounder, a uh, nice double sole. Um, yeah, that was it. But we came back here, it's a nice big tide, big spin tide today, uh, 10 meter tide today. Uh, it does fish uh, good here uh, on a massive fish spring tide. Hence we're here. Uh, before we got here, we went out and pumped loads of uh, black, black look and uh, yellow tails. So we got plenty of baits. I'll quick, sh quickly show you them. Plenty of fresh, fresh look. Probably 150, 200. Uh, fishing off my car, nice and easy mark. Now the rods all set up, just waiting the, the tide to come in a little bit. Fishing over high water here. Uh, with the tide being big, we, uh, we came up a bit here off the railing. We reckon tide and the wind going to splash all the water in. It's a massive tide. Then about 10 meter bang on. With a strong south westerly, I think, and then it's gonna switch over to westerly, not till in the well, about four o'clock in the morning. But currently about half past nine. So plan is to fish a couple of hours up and a couple of hours down. Uh, I'm hoping we should be able to fish in half an hour time. So the tide coming in pretty fast now. Yeah, fishing two rods. Uh, one has uh, just made uh, brand new rigs uh, in uh, Joe's new one there. Nice and tucked in. <laughs> I think it looks like it's cooking. So I made a couple of rigs in there. Out the wind. Yeah, made three o three o flopper on one, and then usual my bass rigs one up, one down. Quick, show you them. These are the new hooks I'm trying out. Um, three o bait holders. Slightly offset with three or circle, 50 pound line, um, straight three rig body and hook smooth. The bottom smooth, as always, slightly longer than the top smooth, about a foot and a half long, about a foot long top smooth, and a six ounce gripper. The same line, just a three flopper with one or Aberdeen basic three three of clopper guys yeah six ounce gripper uh, it's showing showers all night and it's gonna get worse about one o'clock I think after midnight but luckily we, we can fish off our car so it's nice and shelter sheltered I can just sit in here and fish. Right, I'm gonna start baiting up, I think, kill a bit of time, and uh, hopefully, the targets are tonight anything really. Chance of bass, flounder, sole, uh, whiting from the pub, whiting's uh, starting to show up around the Mersey. Um, chance of cod in here, uh, not no mark for cod fishing here but they, you do get them here um that's about it i think species wise uh you do get rocklin and stuff like that um yeah we're just happy to catch any fish but um i'll be happy with a nice double sole or bass even a codlin <laughs> right stay tuned and get these uh rigs baited up and uh hopefully get back here with a nice fish class
you snow blank guys, master of what is it? Flounder on, on the bass rig. Took the three all new uh, new hooks, the three all bait holders. They were a little greedy. Crock fish. Get it on up and get it some back now. There you go. Nice little flounder. Well, long speeding. That was the second cast. Nice little uh, flounder. Well, the filming is not going to be great this evening. Oh, this, it is blowing a hooli out there and uh, lashing it down. Luckily, we can fish off our car. And literally, um, got me bees open, car boot, and uh, sitting here watching the rods. Um, quick show you the conditions now. It's south south easterly of the tour to one mile and all August and then wind increase in midnight goes up to 35 south easterly and then 1 a.m. it goes to south southwest and then west northwest but I think we can fish here till about half to high water is 20 past 12 Neither one o'clock, 11 o'clock now. So, yeah, a few hours here. For the rain picking up at midnight, it's going to be a wet one. As I mentioned, it's a massive tide today. It does fish well here on a big tide. And there are plenty of uh, movement out there, so ideal for bass really and and codling but still a bit early for Mersey there is odd ones coming out and at a couple of weeks I think I'll start targeting the cod all around the Mersey and then start traveling down the east coast Get some fishing in there. Um, I think on my bash count, I'm stuck at 93. The target was 100 for the year. Let's see if I can winkle one out of here this evening. Yeah, uh, not much else to say, guys. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully, these rods can't see. Bent right over soon. <laughs> right, guys, to catch you in a bit. Yeah, we're baby flounder guys. We're getting soft to, to the bones. Jaws got a ni nice flounder. That's the biggest flounder of the, of the evening. But I'm not sure how long we're gonna stay here with this rain. Yeah, we're getting soaked to the bones, guys. Uh, then we might have to pack up and think about what we're gonna do. 
Right, it's been pretty quiet anyway. No point racing bait in this weather. <laughs> Guess what we got here? Boom! Nice silver bar, guys. Look, he's able. Oh, he got um, half of the tail chopped, chopped off. I do remember packing up, thinking we can't be bothered anymore in this rain. Saw me other line, just swept to the left, and a massive slack line. Wind it in and then felt the weight and luckily took both of the hook and it wasn't going anywhere. So nice keeper size bass, probably near 50 centimeter mark. Give it a measure in a minute. Uh, now, don't know if this stay uh, for another cast or not. I've already packed away one of the rods, but um. Is it decent conditions out there other than being really wet? Anyway, get this on up, get it measured in a bit and decide what we're doing. <laughs> 